Welcome to Review Central. This is ASET Reviewer number 6, featuring questions for the ASET Mathematics subtest. This reviewer is intended for those who are eyeing, or are set to take the Ateneo College entrance exam. There are 10 questions featured on this reviewer. All questions are modeled on actual questions that appeared on previous ASETs. Let's begin. Math question number 1. If theta is greater than pi, and is less than 2 pi, and cotangent theta is equal to negative 15 over 8, cosine theta is equal to a. Negative square root of 161 over 15 b. 15 over 17 c. 8 times square root of 161 over 161 d. Negative 8 over 17 The correct answer is b. Since theta is greater than pi, but is less than 2 pi, we can deduce that angle theta is located either in the third or fourth quadrant. And since cotangent theta is equal to a negative value, we can deduce that angle theta is located either in the second or fourth quadrant. Therefore, angle theta is in the fourth quadrant. We can then draw the triangle theta as shown. From the resulting triangle, and since theta is in the fourth quadrant, cosine theta should be equal to the negative of the length of the adjacent side over the length of the hypotenuse. The negative value of the hypotenuse cancels out the initial negative value of cosine theta. Therefore, the correct answer is 15 over 17. <music> Math question number 2. If angle theta is in the fourth quadrant, which of the following is always true? A. Sine theta is less than tangent theta. B. Secant theta over cosecant theta is greater than zero. C. Cotangent theta is equal to zero. D. Sine theta times cosine theta is less than zero. Let's inspect and evaluate each of the given choices. First, sine theta is less than tangent theta. Let's move tangent theta to the left. The inequality should now be, sine theta minus tangent theta is less than zero. From trigonometric identities we know that tangent is equal to sine over cosine. From here we work out the inequality to be, sine theta times the quantity cosine theta minus one is less than zero. Since theta is in the fourth quadrant, sine theta should be a negative number. Cosine theta should be a positive number that is less than one. A number that is less than 1, minus 1, should result to a negative number. Multiplying two negative numbers will result to a positive number, and any positive number is not less than 0. Therefore, choice A is false. Next, secant theta over cosecant theta is greater than 0. With theta in the fourth quadrant, secant theta should be a positive number while cosecant theta should be a negative number. Positive divided by negative will result to negative, and any negative number is not greater than zero. Therefore, option B is also false. Now let us inspect option C, cotangent theta is equal to zero. With theta in the fourth quadrant, cotangent theta should be a negative number not zero. So option C is also false. Finally, let's inspect sine theta times cosine theta is less than zero. With theta in the fourth quadrant, sine theta should be negative, while cosine theta will be positive. Negative times positive will be negative, and any negative number is less than zero. Option D is true. Therefore, the correct answer is D, sine theta times cosine theta is less than zero. <music> Math question number three. Which of the following statements is false? A. A parabola and ellipse can have three points of intersection. B. The graphs of a circle and a hyperbola have at most four points of intersection. C. Two different circles can have four points of intersection. D. If a line is tangent to a circle, then they meet at exactly one point. Let's inspect and evaluate each of the given answer choices to determine which one is false. A parabola and ellipse can have three points of intersection. This is true. A parabola and an ellipse can have three points of intersection as shown in the figure. The graphs of circle and hyperbola have at most four points of intersection. This is also true, as shown in the figure. If a line is tangent to a circle, then they meet at exactly one point. This is of course true. The very definition of tangent is that two objects meet at exactly one and only one point, without intersecting each other. Lastly, let's evaluate the statement in option C. 
Two different circles can have four points of intersection. This is false. Two different circles have at most only two points of intersection as shown in the figure. Since we are looking for the false statement, the correct answer is C. Math question number 4. Find the value of k so that the points negative 1 and 0, 3 and 3, and k and 6 are collinear. A. k equals 11. B. k equals 7. C. k equals 0. D. k equals negative 6. For the three given points to be collinear, they must lie on the same line with a constant slope. Using the points negative 1 and 0, and 3 and 3, we can compute for the slope, m, to be 3 over 4. Using the points, negative 1 and 0, and k and 6, we can compute for the slope, m, to be 6 over the quantity k plus 1. Since all three points are collinear, the two slopes we've just computed must be equal. Therefore, 3 over 4 equals 6 over the quantity k plus 1. From this equation we can compute for k, and arrive at 7 as the answer. Therefore, the correct answer is B, K equals 7. Math question number 5. What property of real numbers is illustrated in the equation below? A. Identity property for multiplication. B. Closure property of multiplication. C. Associated property for addition. D. Inverse property of addition. The correct answer is A. The given equation shows the identity property for multiplication, which states that when a number or expression is multiplied by the identity element 1, the product is that number. <music> Math question number 6. The figure shows a quadrilateral, PQRS, with the length of side PQ being equal to the length of side QR, which is equal to 6 centimeters. It is also known that angle Q is a right angle. Angle QPS measures 135 degrees, and the length of side RS is twice the length of side PS. Find the length of side PS. A. 3 times the square root of 2. B. 6 times the square root of 2. C. 3 times the square root of 6. D. 2 times the square root of 6. Let x be the length of side ps. Since rs is equal to twice ps, then rs is 2x. The imaginary triangle spr must be a 30-60-90 right triangle, since the hypotenuse, sr, is twice the length of one of the legs, sp. Using Pythagorean formula, we can compute for the length of side pr to be x times the square root of 3. Moving on to the lower side of quadrilateral pqrs. Since angle Q is known to be a right angle, and sides PQ and QR have equal lengths, then the imaginary triangle PQR must be a 45-45-90 isosceles right triangle. Using the Pythagorean formula, we can compute the length of side PR to be 6 times the square root of 2. From the resulting figure as shown we can see that side PR now has two known values, x times the square root of 3, and 6 times the square root of 2. Therefore, x times the square root of 3 is equal to 6 times the square root of 2. Solving for x, we should arrive at 2 times the square root of 6. Therefore, the correct answer is D. Math question number 7. If a is equal to the square root of quantity 1 minus quantity 1 over square root of b, then b is equal to a, the square of quantity 1 over a squared minus 1, b, the square of quantity 1 over a squared plus 1, c, 1 over the square of quantity 1 plus a squared, d, 1 over the square of quantity 1 minus a squared. First, let's square both sides of the equation. We should end up with the equation, a squared equals 1 minus the quantity 1 over the square root of b. Now we can solve for b. We should arrive at 1 over the square of the quantity 1 minus a squared. Therefore, the correct answer is D. <music> Math question number 8. The expression, p times logarithm base c of 3, plus logarithm base c of 2 can be expressed as logarithm base c of 18. What must be the value of p? A. 3 over 2. 
B. Negative 1. C. 2. D. 3. Since the expression, p times logarithm base c of 3, plus logarithm base c of 2, can be expressed as logarithm base c of 18, then we can write them as the equation. p times logarithm base c of 3, plus logarithm base c of 2, equals logarithm base c of 18. Recalling our logarithmic identities, we can transform and rewrite the expression p logarithm base c of 3 as logarithm base c of 3 raised to p. The resulting two logarithmic expressions on the left side of the equation now have the same base c. Therefore, we can rewrite them as logarithm base c of the quantity 3 raised to p times 2. The logarithmic expressions on the left and right sides of the equation now have the same base c. Therefore we can cancel the logarithms. What remains of the equation is now simply, 3 raised to p times 2 equals 18. On the right side of the equation, we can actually express 18 as 9 times 2, and then we can express 9 as 3 squared. Can you see how both sides of the equation are now almost identical? We can cancel 2 from both sides of the equation. What remains would be, 3 raised to p, equals 3 raised to 2. Finally, recalling our exponential identities, we can further reduce the equation to simply, p equals 2. Therefore, the correct answer is c. Math question number 9. The coordinates of the endpoints of the diameter of a circle are, 1 and negative 3, and 7 and 5. What is the equation of the circle? a. The square of quantity x minus 4, plus the square of the quantity y minus 1, equals 25. b. The square of quantity x plus 4, plus the square of the quantity y plus 1, equals 100. c. The square of quantity x minus 4, plus the square of the quantity y minus 1, equals 100. d. The square of quantity x plus 4, plus the square of the quantity y plus 1, equals 25. First, recall that the standard form for the equation of a circle is the square of quantity x minus h, plus the square of quantity y minus k, equals r squared. Where h and k are the coordinates of the center of the circle, and its radius measures are units, first let's find the coordinates of the center of the circle. The coordinates, h and k, of the center of the circle are the midpoints of the coordinates 1 at negative 3, and 7 and 5. We can work these out to be 4 and 1. Next, using Pythagorean formula, we compute for the radius of the circle using one of the given coordinates and the coordinates of its center. We should arrive at 5 as the length of the radius. Finally, the equation of the circle in standard form is the square of the quantity x minus 4 plus the square of the quantity y minus 1 equals 25. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Math question number 10. In a certain country, a vehicle's plate number is composed of two numbers followed by two letters. If repetition of numbers and or letters is not allowed, how many plate numbers are possible? A. 26 squared times 10 times 9 B. 26 squared times 10 squared C. 26 times 25 times 10 squared D. 26 times 25 times 10 times 9 The correct answer is D. There are 26 letters in the alphabet. These are A to Z. There are 10 possible digit numbers. These are 0 to 9. Since repetition is not allowed, the possible number of plate numbers should be equal to 10 times 9, times 26 times 25. You have just completed OSET Reviewer number 6, which featured questions for the OSET Mathematics subtest. If you wish to watch more OSET reviewers for the OSET Mathematics subtest, check out our OSET Mathematics reviewers playlist. Check out also our other OSET playlists for other reviewer topics. If you haven't done so yet, please don't forget to subscribe to Review Central and click or press the bell button to make sure you get notified whenever we post a new reviewer or other review materials on this channel. Please like if you find this video useful and feel free to share to anyone who may also benefit from it. We wish you all the best on your forthcoming OSET and we look forward to your exciting days as a true blue adenine.